rice cookers. Welcome back. In today's episode, we were gonna be doing a rear disc conversion on this K-Swap RD1 chassis back here. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. This is the CRV rear trailing arm. Normally it's a drum brake setup. So there's a combination of parts to make this work. And if you're interested in knowing how to do a rear disc swap on your CRV, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell because I'll be running a, an in-depth look at how to do it, just like I have with uh, the rest of the stuff on the swap. It involves a bracket and some prelude parts, but we'll get into that in the next episode we do specifically on this. This is the reason why I'm not able to film this complete swap this week. This uh, piston for the rear brake on the Prelude has got a bunch of pitting in it. The calipers, when I pulled everything apart, were completely rusted. And with time constraints, uh, it's a lot simpler for me to just order brand new Prelude rear caliper setup, which is on its way. So hopefully next week we'll be able to start filming on that. With the rear disc conversion on hold and New Zealand being in lockdown, and not being able to get to exhaust parts to build anything. Can't get this rolling, can't get it really driving or idling, so I can't do things like run through some heat cycles, coolant, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna have to find some other things to do. Um, also running a new handbrake setup on this, which a floor mounted one rather than a dash one, means I need the handbrake in before I can put carpet and interior back together. So kind of in a bit of a uh, rough spot for getting stuff done. But let's see what we can get done today. Just whipped up a little spacer for the throttle body bracket. I believe it was off the uh, K24 from the Odyssey, but can't really remember. Uh, just spaced it up with some plastic washers here, some extended 10 mils, just to uh, get this thing so I can test it and test the throttle. Uh, eventually I will look for a J-series throttle bracket, which I think uh, old mate in Australia from Team Axle Stands, I don't know if you've seen his videos, they're really good, but he told me he ran a J-series throttle bracket, so yeah. First time the throttle cable is actually hooked to the pedal, let's uh, see how it functions. Very nice. Another thing I need to move on to is filling out this gearbox with some Honda Gold Nectar MTF. So let's, uh, let's finally fill this gearbox up. Well, that looks like it's had some, some moisture in it. So what I'm gonna do is take off this one here, which is the fill and leveling hole, and we'll flush some, some good stuff through it. I still got some moisture in it from sitting Sitting out for so long, I guess. I don't know. It's a little strange. Hopefully, it's all good. The fill bung and the overflow bung is 17. Some Honda F MTF liquid gold and a whole bottle of uh, MTF that was out of my S2000. I ran some MTF in it for 20 kilometers just to see if new fluid would solve a noise problem I was having. Uh, it did not, but you can see those videos if you want on the channel. The S2000 gearbox cooked. Oh, let's, uh, let's put some fluid through this gearbox. let that run through and we'll do up that bung and fill it up properly. Time to fill it up the rest of the way. Okay, let's have a little inspection, see where we're at with this. Still needs more. Shit, I hope I got enough fluid. This is the last bit I have. But we should be getting pretty close. Okay, so I just shined a flashlight in this fill hole and the level is right on the edge of just starting to trickle out. So we 
got lucky with the amount of fluid that I had there. I will recheck this again once it's rolling and on the ground. But I'd imagine that's perfectly fine. So this is a 17 mil. So the fill bung is 33 foot pounds and the drain bung is 29. So 29, 33. Uh, I don't think I can get a torque wrench in on this one, so I'm just going to have to do it up FT or uh, loose translation fucking tight. So I'll just tighten that up and uh, we'll be done with the gearbox. Now that we've got some fluid in the gearbox, we can kind of safely rev it a little bit. So uh, let's start it and see if the throttle body works. Right. See how she goes. Holy fuck. Well, f me, the throttle body works. Holy crap. Whew. Okay, so I had someone comment on one of my last videos, John Strong, and uh, he mentioned testing the fans via the K-Pro, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna start off just by turning the ignition on. You'll see down the bottom, it'll go to on. And then we're going to click on this lightning bolt and then go to parameters. Uh, da, 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 da. We want something called protection. There we go. Now we're connected. I'm going to hit that lightning bolt again. I'm used, I'm just getting used to K-Pro myself, so bear with me. And then we've got force radiator fan on at. Fahrenheit, current coolant temperature, there is none, but the sensor is picking up 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we set this to 50, like so, and then upload this change to the ECU, fans are on. That's both fans on, and it is blowing. We're pulling air in through here. Yep. Very nice. It's quite a bit of air. And to turn it off, we just set that to to 20 again and re-upload there we go TPS right getting a signal there 100 percent right while we're here we might as well look at TPS and that was under probably under throttle yep so I don't know if this is right what I've done here, but it, this is what it was before. Default. Um, if I put that back to default and re-upload, and TPS is showing zero to one and 102, 103%. To me, that's wrong. So what I'm, what I've done is calibrated it I guess so we go read 1.3 percent yeah make sure that's not changing yep and then at full throttle click read again and then upload those changes now when I hit 
Now it's staying 0% TPS, and when I hit the throttle all the way open, 100%. If you see something I'm doing that's uh, maybe not quite right, or you feel like you can help, don't be afraid to comment. Um, it's very helpful, and it's also helpful to other people that are coming to get information from these videos. So, yeah, don't be afraid to mention anything down below. And, yeah, cheers. Oh, fucking sick, eh? See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Fans work. Much good. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to the thing. Watch the thingy and comment on the thingy and then tell other people that they're dumb if they don't watch it and shit. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.